What's up guys? Let me show you my uh, solar system I'm installing here. We are installing a um, in-phase system. I got a 1.47 kilowatt um, system I'm installing that I, we bought off Affordable Solar. These are our panels. These are 245 watt Canadian solar panels. Got six of them in series. And once again, we're doing an in-phase system. I'm using in-phase inverters on the roof. And here's my junction box. Went right through the roof, right through the attic. And ran the wires using Romex 12.3. And through the attic, my breaker box is on the back. I'll show you that in a little bit. And uh, yeah, a couple of challenges, I guess, that made this project difficult. You know, I really had never done a, um, a roof penetration. And uh, this is my some of my first roof penetrations. I got 10 roof penetrations in total here. That uh, bare copper wire, this is my grounding electrode conductor. And I'm using this uh, called the solar mount I-beam. I really wouldn't recommend this solar mount I-beam again. I, I probably wouldn't use it if I had the, uh, probably won't use it again. Just gave me a little bit of trouble, you know, I didn't really like to splice. Uh, but yeah, let me show you the back too. I'll show you the junction box just one last time. So the in-phase is pretty good. They got this engage cable running, comes off these uh, in-phase inverters, AC, and comes into this box. This is my junction box. This is my Romex wire right there. And I'm gonna use that little terminal, this little terminal strip to junction between the wires. And I got a little like kind of splice neutral kind of con connector for my, uh, my number six and my ground. Yeah, let me show you the breaker box. All right guys, so here is um, my AC disconnect, my um, production meter, and there is the, the breaker box. So I had a choice of whether to go through the attic or come around the house uh, with conduit. I chose to go through the attic mainly because I thought the wire run was definitely shorter and um, the homeowner um, expressed some concerns about, I guess, making an expansion over, over where I was going to run conduit. So we ran through the attic. That was just a little difficult because you had to like this eave right here. It's like a six inch crawl space. So you really need like two people to get up there and grab that wire. But it wasn't too difficult. You know, if you can get into small spaces, conduit comes down into my AC di disconnect. Uh, there's my AC disconnect. Just got that off uh, at Square D. Um, I said I'm running Romex 12 gauge wire and I'm running into my production meter. And I used uh, that plastic conduit, you know, you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. That was pretty cheap. And here's my breaker box. Conduit runs in there. I just gotta run into my breakers that are right there. And I got 20 amp breakers. That's about it. Um, let's see if it works tomorrow. What's up guys again? I'm going to show you the final system. Ready to produce power. So, here are the panels. I did a time lapse of this. Alright. So here's the time lapse. I found it best to uh, connect the wires up first and then clamp on the panels. Those uh, panels need to be uh, torque to a specific rating. So I had a torque wrench there, and it's pretty straightforward. You know, mainly just bolting stuff on at this point. Um, yeah, this is the easy part, really. Nice being out in the sun. Um, just want to make sure those cables really aren't hanging on the roof. I basically just zip tied them up there onto the I beam, and there I am. Um, just making sure those cables are on the roof. That's me uh, gunking up that roof penetration. Threw some rocks on it just to make sure it was um, he hearing right. That was about it. And yeah, they went up pretty fast. Probably only took about an hour or two to put the panels up. There's my, uh, my roof penetration all gunked up with tar. And yeah ready to turn this puppy on. It's not too sunny of a day, but we'll definitely produce some power here. 
All right, so we're at the back side of the house here. Uh, we got through electrical inspection yesterday and I had to make a couple of changes. Um, the electrical inspector, we're here in Carbondale, Colorado, so if you're dealing with um, Bob Fuller, he's the state electrical inspector. And a couple things he didn't like, he didn't like that I didn't have this conduit I guess, strapped to the wall. So maybe put those on. So I can put one there, one there, one down here too. Um, I already had my labels, you know, depending on your jurisdiction. I don't know if you need labels or not, but but in here, in the production meter, Bob had me make some changes. Um, you know, these lugs on this production meter, this is a 200 amp uh, lever bypass production meter. And Bob had me um, just kind of make kind of like just extensions of number six wire because I just had this number 12 wire, uh, Romex wire into these lugs. And, um, you know, definitely by the UL listing over here, it's only supposed to be uh, number six and bigger, which I read, but I kind of ignored. <laughs> so, um, Bob just made me do some extensions, and um, yeah, I guess that'll work. And I just used wire nuts on the wires. Um, I also had those, um, I had like some rubber grommets that I had bought at Ace Hardware that uh, the electrical inspector also did not like. So I took those off. It was a bit of a pain yesterday, but it uh, only couple, took me a couple hours. And um, yeah, now we're ready to turn this puppy on. So, let's see how it goes. All right, moment of truth. So I'm gonna flip on our AC disconnect. And uh, flip on our lever bypass. And I'm just having nightmares that this thing's just gonna blow up my face, but <laughs> at least I got my safety glasses on. I'm gonna flip the breaker. And um, maybe we'll produce some power. Let's see what the meter says. I think it might take a while to produce a kilowatt hour, but I'm gonna take some measurements and um, at least it didn't blow up. All right, so we bought one of these Envoy communication uh, gateway systems for the in-phase system, and I just hooked it up. Let it go through its process there, and you can see once it scrolls through, we just produced 578 watts of power. 391 watt hours already. So I'm pretty confident that's working. Great. And this thing you can hook up, um, they have a website too, so you can monitor production and stuff. So I'm gonna do that next.